certain advantages to being female. We're short, we're lightweight, we can fit in this. It's called the HERO2, and it won the exhibition class of this year's Pikes Peak International Hill Climb in June, placing 21st out of 71 vehicles and beating all other electrics on the course. It's a pure electric vehicle capable of racing up a 12,000 foot mountain that's 12 and a half miles long, has 156 turns, and doing it in 12 minutes and 20 seconds. Or on a coned course in the Angel Stadium parking lot where I was offered some seat time recently, jetting across the asphalt and drifting around corners with acceleration akin to a Porsche Turbo. The top speed of this car is about 160 miles per hour, and it does a 0 to 60 in about 3.9 seconds. Ikuo Hanawa was literally the driving force behind this car that was a collaboration of three separate entities. Summit Motorsports outside Tokyo, Japan, Yokohama Tires, and AC Propulsion, the electric drivetrain manufacturer based in San Dimas, California. I have been racing for a long time. The, the reason why I went from nature, I wanted to um, run with more clean energy vehicles. The reason why we chose Pikes Peaks was because it was one, it is a shorter course, and currently EV vehicles can't run longer courses, and two, the motor and the power is best used on an uphill uh, course like Pikes Peak. This is a 200 kilowatt drive system, which means it's about 270 horsepower. The vehicle is a mid-engined, rear-wheel drive race car. It's a single-seater, batteries on both sides, keeps the weight central between the axles, and that, that makes it ideal for the, the Pikes Peak hill climb. It's got a direct drive gearbox, which means that no shifting is required. Nor was any dirty fuel. The HER-02 was powered with electricity generated from a solar array mounted on a big rig at Pikes Peak. I think we're in a great position, having been 21st out of a field of 71 cars, mostly gas cars. With a time of about 12 minutes, 20 seconds, we're still about two minutes away from the, uh, the fastest car, which broke 10 minutes this year. And I think that it really showcases the capability of electric vehicles to, to be competitive with the gas vehicles. It's certainly as fun. For the Los Angeles Times, I'm Susan Carpenter.